You clicked on this video because you wanted to know why zero factorial is one. What are factorials? You can think of factorials as the number of ways you can arrange items. So four factorial would be the number of ways you could arrange four items. Three factorial would be the number of ways you could arrange three items and so on. Let's use an example. How many ways can you arrange three elements ABC? Well, there's the obvious way, ABC. But you could start with A again and say ACB. I could start with B and say BAC or BCA. For so far, I could also start with C and say CAB or finally CBA. That's a total of six combos. So three factorial is six. What if I started with two elements? Well, there's only two ways to organize this, right? So AB and BA. This means two factorial is two. What about one element? There's only one way. One factorial is one. How many ways can you arrange zero elements? One way. You just don't. We can also prove that zero factorial is one using algebra. Let's do that now. Before I prove zero factorial is one algebraically, I need to describe algebraically what a factorial truly is. Algebraically, four factorial, for example, is four times three times two times one. Another way to say it is you take the number four and you multiply it by one lower than it until you reach one. The calculated product is four factorial, so in this case, that is 24. That means that three factorial should be three times two times one, and two factorial should be two times one, and one factorial should be one. And that begs the question, can I show that zero factorial is one algebraically? I'm going to show it algebraically. I need to start with a general number n. What would n factorial look like? n factorial would be starting at n and multiplying one lower than it until you reach one. So I can also say that this term right here, n minus one multiplied all the way down to one would be n minus one factorial. Why is that relevant? That means that I have n factorial equals n times n minus one factorial. Beautiful. Now substitute n equals one, and let's see what happens. One factorial will be one times one minus one factorial, which implies that one times zero factorial equals one. In other words, zero factorial algebraically can be proven to be one.